Hello and welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you might be in your neck of the word, woods. Um, Mud Fossil University just put up a, uh, a video on the theory of the moon formation showing, uh, let's see, the theory of the moon's formation show wrong, so check the in Mud Fossil, U, Mud Fossil Biological Theory. And Roger put this up and about the moon being a tenon ball. And so I'm going to elaborate on this. I would concur with him that yes, I believe he is correct. And let me show you why I say that using what geology call concretions, geological concretions. But these are not geological concretions. They are actually tenon balls with a stock attachment. Let me show you what I mean. All right, so this is Fogarty Creek up north of me about you know, two and a half hours and we have a lot of biology laying right there on the beach. It's actually not a beach. It's actually part of a carcass. The earth is actually created out of carcasses. It's not from five billion years of evolutionary volcanism and geology. It's, this is not true. There is geology. There is volcanism. But what we're going to look at right now is not that. Okay, here's one coming into the beach. And you can see there's one of them sitting right there. That's actually a tendon ball. There's another one sitting right over here, a couple sitting here, so we're going to go on further in this video, and I'll show you. I'll show you the stock attachment that Roger's talking about. So if we go further in the video, there's two of them laying right there. Okay, these, there's actually one, two, three, four, there's four of them laying right here, and one to the left, or two more to the left, I can't remember. And these are tendon balls, okay? Let me show you where the stock attachment is. That one's covered in seaweed, kind of hard to see. And then um, there's this one here. And see how these are? See, see what these are formed out of? See this? This is not just formed from pressure and heat below the surface. There's been no heat formed actually. This has never rolled around, or it doesn't have a nucleus center like a crustacean or a clam in the center, like I showed you before. Okay. See those patterns? This is biological. That is 100% biological. These aren't just a bunch of rocks stuck together and formed together. And there's one here where I can get up on top. This one right here. See, a lot of it's eroded off. I can get up on top, and there's where the attachment was right there. It's almost eye shaped, like this. Okay? There's no way that was formed. from something geological. And there it is, better shot of it. This is actually triangle pieced, like like an looks like an eye. Some of them are round, some of them are shaped like this, but that's where the stock would have came out of this thing. Okay, there you can see it better right there. See that piece right here? That's where the stock attachment was. Right here that piece right there okay so I would have to agree with Roger Spur that absolutely and these are off of massive creatures these ones in space are even bigger than the ones here on earth okay and there's another one laying there and I have more to the left well you can see the holes where they were in the, right in here in the biology Here's another one here. Okay. And I'll, I'll add this video on so you can watch this video. You know, in its full length entirety. Here's where I show one right there that's broken open. And you'll find there's no crab, there's no nucleus center like some geological concretions have. See that? There's no crab, there's no nothing in the center of that. There's nothing sur to make it surround something and stick to it. You understand what I'm saying? Look, and if you look at the center of it, it just looks like a whole bunch of rocks stuck together. Well, why would a whole bunch of rocks be stuck together? They're not actually stuck together. This is biology, and they're formed this way on creatures. Inside of our bodies, tendon balls are super, super small, but these things are just massive. There's another shot of it there. Okay, now this is a geological concretion with a nucleus center with a crab or something. See, I split this one in half before, in half. I've done videos on it. See, this is half of it, the other half's outside. It's pouring down rain here right now. But see, it's got a nucleus of a, a clam. 
and it forms around this, the sand does. And what I just showed you has none of this. They're, they're, cause, because they're not geological concretions, they're, they're biology. Or it would have a nucleus, something like this, that it would all form around. You understand what I'm saying? This thing's really heavy. It's sandstone. So I would have to agree with Roger Spur's statement. The moon is, is biological. And these creatures are so massive, they're so much bigger even than the ones on Earth are. Let me show you. Okay, before I go go to Google Earth, I found Google Earth. I found one of my other older videos, and there's not so much moss growing on this one. You can see the attachment. See the attachment point? That's where the stock was attached. Okay. And you can see it there also. Right there on top. See that? That's where the stock was attached. This is a tendon ball. And right there is where the stock was attached. Okay? That's an attachment point for the tendon on this tendon ball. Okay, now I'm going to go to Google Earth and show you some stuff. Before I go there, i got a better shot of it here. I'm standing, looking down on top of it. There's the attachment point for the stock. Okay, there you go, right there. Now, there's no way this was formed geologically like this. It's impossible. It's a tendon ball. It's biology. You're seeing with your own eyes. I mean, there's no way, well, it just made this round sphere and it made an attachment point. It just, come on, really? I know it's beyond the human mind, but it is what it is, okay? So... Roger, I believe you're 100% correct. Hey, what do I know? I'm just a dumb goat farmer, right? The loves Jesus, by the way. I'm standing on top looking down. There's the attachment point for the stock. Just like he showed you with the moon. Okay? Now let's go to Google Earth. Okay, now to good old Google Earth. Now I know some of this is over the top. You know, it's hard to fathom because people's minds just can't go there, especially academia. They don't believe in God, and so everything's got to be godless. So here's, this is a dragon. You, the head, this is the East Coast dragon. It's been shown before. This is its head. It's, it's beaked down here. The crown up here with its feathers. Its neck goes down like this, and then you got the body right here. you got the fluting on its back back here where the feathers are. I mean, come on, man. That's just, that's just not by coincidence. Are you kidding me? That's a geological coincidence. Yeah, right, whatever. Anyway, and then you got the one, you know, the east or the Moroccan dragon over here, the, and the fish that Roger shows. You know, this is all biological. The whole Earth is made out of biology. He's shown this. I know you've all seen it, but you got the fish, you got the dragon up here, and this is not pareidolia. This is, it is what it is. And then the biggest one of all here on Earth that we found so far is this dragon's head right here. That's China, Mongolia are living on. You got its right eye left over here. You can come up in here and you'll find all the crowning, the bridge of a nose coming down to the mouth down here. I know I've showed it a lot of times too, but that is a, it's a dragon's head. <laughs> it's an absolute dragon's head. I looked at this so much, you know, you can come up here yourself and look and you'll see this half the same as that half over here in the shadows up here. Okay? Same as right you got right here. And then you got all this coming down, these mountain ranges coming down to its mouth. Which is right down here in Wuhan, by the way. Wuhan, I believe, is right here. Imagine that, Wuhan, right in its mouth, a dragon. And that's by coincidence, so hey. So that there is a dragon. Whether you like it or not, get over it. I don't know what to tell you, man. Earth has created all these carcasses. Big ones, small ones, some are from the creation of Earth, other ones died on top of the Earth. So that is what it is. So there you go, Roger, my friend. I would have to 100% agree with you. So, you know, it is what it is, man. I don't have the magic feather there, but by golly, I don't need a magic feather. I know what I see, and I know the biology I see, and you see it too. So, all right, have a blessed day. I just wanted to put that up and concur with Roger and back up what he's saying. I totally agree. It's biological. The moon is biological. Body parts are... Stuff we see in space, man. Stars and all that stuff, you know, whatever. Alright, planets. Y'all have a great day and bye-bye now.